you folks. The old older bolt. That's a glorious day at last. So I've come to my favourite spot to look over the sea. Have a cup of tea and a smoke. Hope you're all doing okay. Making a change from the Peterson 303 system today. So I'm smoking in a, what is it, Invicta, Invicta Breuer's, uh, Ben Bulldog, or Rhodesian, or, I don't know, whatever it is. Some Marlin Flake. I'm listening to the birds. Because although it's only the first few days of February, and I hope, I hope you can pick this up as well, there's loads of bird life, bird activity going on. which is just flipping wonderful. And I actually just saw a fox just over there behind me. Which was nice. I was wondering if he was going to come out again. The woodland that I'm in is only a thin strip of woodland on top of the cliff. <laughs> but there's loads going on here. It's unfortunate, really, that I'm pretty shit at identifying birds, either by their song or to look at. Uh, unfortunately, it's one of those things... Oh, hello. Don't fly. Um, one of those things that I've, I've never really spent much time studying. I'm good with plants, trees, insects. Spiders, particularly. Mushrooms. But birds is one thing I've neglected. Which, to be honest, is quite unforgivable, really. Because they're one of the things that you can hear when you're, when you're out and about. And they kind of tell you what's going on. You can tell by the different calls whether or not there's a predator, whether or not they've spotted you, um, whether or not they're uh, having an argument amongst themselves, whether it's mating season, whatever it happens to be, they can tell you an awful lot. And unfortunately, it's a language of which I'm pretty ignorant, which, um, yeah, which I must address. But I'm just sitting here, listening to the birds, wallowing in my own ignorance, and uh, feeling the warmth of the sun. <laughs> it's wonderful. We have had just endless rain. Endless rain. Just non-stop. Relentless. And it's been so flipping miserable. Uh, but uh, today I woke up. It was bright, frosty. A real chill in the air. We've got a band of snow supposedly coming over the next couple of days, which will be flipping marvellous.
because I haven't seen snow for many years. So there's rooks up there that I can identify. I think Chiff Chaff is the other one, but I'd have to uh, I'd have to go and check, double check the the voice. Anyway, there's a couple of things that always always indicate to me the coming of spring. And the first of them is blackthorn, flushing. Uh, one of them is actually the, uh, the fresh shoots of the hemlock water drop -wort. I mean you get them in the depths of winter to be fair. But it's that little bit of life hanging on in the sort of dark months that kind of give me hope for the coming season. But as I was walking up here today there was also snowdrops, primroses, my first primroses of the year, um, which is brilliant. So all in all, it's going to be a good day. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning at the moment. I can see, I'm not going to turn the camera around because uh, you wouldn't be able to, but I can even see, if I'm not mistaken, Weymouth over in the distance in that direction. So it's nice and clear. Good to be alive. That's it for the minute anyway. Nothing much to say. Just thoughts on the coming spring. folks take care and I'll see you again soon.